Hello everybody, uh, this is Brian, and um, today's video, um, well, to be honest, I just kind of wanted to sit on the floor. Uh, I was just kind of having a nice uh, Sunday. You can tell the, the weather is, it's a gray day outside, but I've got the sun coming in. It's very moody and cozy in here. I've got the candle. Um, and I've got some tea here that I've been uh, sipping on. Oh, that's a little hot. Mm, see, it's fogging up my glasses a little bit. So, so I just, uh, I was just having a nice kind of calm Sunday. I've been, uh, been a little bit busy recently, like always, and I really thought, um, it was just very cozy in here, and I have to say I love this time of year, I love the fall, because it really is very cozy, so I thought today I would just do a little soft-spoken video, um, I know I've been doing a lot of those lately, but kind of a soft-spoken ramble. Um, we did the one with the candle last time, which was more kind of positive aff affirmations and stuff. So today is going to be a little more rambly and, uh, and just kind of, uh, some of that. And then my other idea for today is just to maybe do some scratching, uh, kind of scratching and unboxing. And, you know, one thing, I, I do get some comments on some of my videos that even if I'll say, a scratching video, I end up making some other sounds, and so. If you're somebody who doesn't like that, I'm sorry, I just. I just like to be really casual. Now, this is, uh. This is an artist, uh, canvas board. So, it's basically just, uh, a board that has canvas wrapped around it. Um, I'm not much of a painter or anything at all, actually. I just, uh, I just kind of got it on a whim one day, thinking maybe I would try to paint something really simple, um, just to hang up and, you know, something could be kind of fun. Painting can be kind of relaxing. And I was watching a lot of Bob Ross videos and, you know, Sometimes you uh, have crazy ideas, so I bought some of this, but it really makes a nice scratching sound. And this is actually through the plastic. There's some plastic on here. So I thought I could maybe scratch on it with the plastic and then also scratch without the plastic. And uh, there might be some sips of tea in between. I do hope the light doesn't go away on us too much. I know it's already a little bit dark in this video, but... But it's, uh, it's nice and cozy, I think, and for an ASMR video, you don't need to have all that much light. <laughs> I guess. I do hope I'm in focus, you know. There's really no way of knowing. So, if not, uh, well, you'll get a really nice look at whatever is in focus, whether it's the, whether it's the couch or something. Um, I really like this spot by the window here. So I'll sit here sometimes. And yeah, this is this is my new living room. You're not really seeing much of it in, in this angle, but it's nice. I'm happy with it. So maybe let's try to remove the plastic. Mm-hmm. 
And this is right when somebody's going to leave a comment saying, I thought you said it was only scratching. I always go back and forth about plastic and crinkly videos. I've never thought of it as a main trigger for me, but like recently I found a, a crinkle video from uh, Natasha Q ASMR. I think that's how you say it. She's a, she's a Dutch ASMR creator, and she's very sweet, and she made a crinkle video recently that just was very, very tingly for me. Crinkles are actually very loud. Like if I put this right up to the mic, even just like a little bit, you really hear it. So anyway. That's not true, I've done a few videos with fluffy, uh, fluffy windscreen on. I have another windscreen that's not fluffy, which works really well um, for most things, but not if it's really, really close up like this. I've been liking these close up, uh, close up whispering videos. I always find them to be pretty, pretty relaxing, personally, so. I do hope that, that you like these too. It's kind of soft. It's like petting a small animal. say just in general the uh, the new apartment is much quieter it's a much quieter neighborhood even though my particular street I do I do hear people out there a lot just yelling stuff or whatever like that so hopefully it's not too distracting for you um, I could also you know of course I can always film during the night which could help a little bit maybe um, but there's only so much you can do, and, uh, well, I, I never, I never profess to make, uh, studio quality ASMR videos. I always, 
now they're just in my in my room or my living room, so they're different. Here's the rough paper. Canvas actually. Sometimes, though, something that sounds good to one person can be not so nice to another person. Like, scratching is a very different sound than rubbing. And some people don't like rubbing. What, uh, what can be an ASMR trigger for one person can be kind of like nails on a chalkboard for someone else. It's really interesting how sounds can, uh, sounds can be, you know, positive or negative. I don't know. It's also not only sounds that trigger ASMR. I think it's easy to forget that, you know. For me, I get ASMR. In my daily life, too. Um, sometimes just from like a tap on the shoulder or um, if somebody's touching your face or uh, getting a haircut, you know, going to the doctor, right? There's reasons that, that the videos, uh, the ASMR videos, are the way they are. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice recently, too. I, I I think just with the weather changing, it got a little bit of a cold, and um, I actually f feel fine. It's just mainly a scratchy throat, so so it makes my voice a little more rough. Um, I don't know, so maybe, maybe it's a more relaxing sound for some, uh, or maybe not. I, I, I don't know. You know, sometimes being a little sick it makes your voice a little more raspy, and uh, I kind of like raspy voices. You know, Marge Simpson, or I don't know. There's something, there is something kind of uh, relaxing about a voice that is a little more raspy. So, um, but I know it's not really good for your voice. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a singer or an actor or anything. But um, I was talking to an actress friend recently. That scratch on more things. And she, uh, her first language is not English, so she's uh, in New York studying acting. She's from Israel, from Tel Aviv, and she says as, as part of what they're learning, they're learning an American accent, uh, English, American English, and, uh, and And uh, she said that uh, one thing that's hard not to do, I guess, when speaking speaking American, <laughs> is not to do what they call vocal fry. Are you familiar with vocal fry? I do it a lot, and it's it's not good for your voice, I don't think. But when you sit on your vocal cords, vocal fry, you know, like that. Um, and I think it's pretty common in American English, especially in younger people. There's, I think it was This American Life, which is a podcast I listen to. I don't know if you guys like podcasts, but I love podcasts. I've been, uh, I listen to them on the train. So This American Life is a good one. Um, there's other good ones, like Radio Lab. It's great. And this one called 99% Invisible that I really like. Um, anyway, sorry. 
bit of podcast nerd right now. Um, what was I intending to say? Um, what was I intending to say? I can't remember. There goes that train of thought. Oh, vocal fright. There's a This American Life about vocal fright. That's all. Um, some podcasts can be a little asmr too. Um, I don't necessarily listen to them for ASMR, but there are certain voices that can trigger it a little bit for me. But I listen to them on, on the train, on the way to work. I usually get about one podcast in per train ride. This thing that I'm uh, scratching on. It's an Apple box. As in Apple computer, not, not the fruit. Um, they have a really nice finish on all of their boxes. Uh, this is for a Thunderbolt cable to Firewire. Thunderbolt to Firewire which I needed um, in order to connect my computer to um, the audio interface um, that my new roommate has, actually. I, I was trying to use it, um, but it needed a firewire cable. Um, continuing with the theme of computers. I tried to update my uh, my laptop, my MacBook, to the newest um, operating system, and it caused my hard drive to fail. So now I get to uh, send my computer back into Apple and have them fix it or put a new a new hard drive in, so. <clears throat> so, I don't have a computer for a while, but I do have, uh, I do have other computers that I can have access to, hopefully to continue to edit my videos. It's uh, definitely a pain though, you realize how much you rely on your electronics. In times like these, so. Hopefully that gets sorted out. I still really can't tell if you can see me at all. I feel like I'm totally in the dark. I guess I could move over to the window, but... Oh well. Hopefully you can see enough of me that it's, uh, that it's okay. Um... I got one more thing I wanted to scratch a little bit in this area. I just bought some disposable razors, safety razors. The cheapest ones that they had. And it's $2 for four, 50 cents each. And let me tell you, they, they have all the quality of a 50 cent razor that you would expect. Um, they're not very nice. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, I like the way the box. Is sounds. I love, uh, I love this kind of weather. It's very gray, very foggy. It makes me think of, uh, of London or, you know, Northern Europe, Germany, Scandinavia. It's 
got this kind of mild, cold, gray thing, which I know doesn't sound very nice, but it's, it's really very nice, especially coming from a really hot summer. You know, the fact I'm inside right now and I have no heater on and no air conditioning and it's pretty nice. It's a tiny bit chilly, so I've, you know, I've got the candle, which warms things up a little bit. Look at my hand on the candle, that's crazy. Um, and, you know, wearing a sweater, but it's actually really quite nice. I have some warm tea. It's very cozy. And this is my favorite. I love, I love being a little bit cold and then having a blanket or sitting by a fire and warming up. I just think it's one of the, one of the best feelings in the world. And, uh, I, I also appreciate the other way. It's really hot and you have, you know, an ice cold beverage. It's very refreshing, but it's just not as cozy. <laughs> I like cozy things. This fluffy, fluffy uh, faux sheepskin, don't worry. ASMR videos are cozy too. Yeah, they they fit into the uh, the cozy description for me. And they just feel very warm, which is strange, right? How can a video feel warm? You know, plastic screens, glass screens, and you know. All of that can feel so cold, right? Um, cold or impersonal, but I don't think that's always the case. I think that these videos are very personal, very warm, to me anyway. And I would hope that you would agree. I bet you do agree if you're... <laughs> If you're an ASMR fan, and if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you're an ASMR fan. Well, that's a new sound. Did you hear that? It almost sounds like maybe the heat is being turned on. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if the super came and turned on the heat. Huh. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it. Interesting. Well, I just made my video a little bit louder. Sorry. And here I was just talking about how I didn't mind that it was a little cold in here. Oh well. As long as it doesn't get turned too hot. I wonder if I have a thermostat here. I wonder if I can control it. <laughs> These are the things about living in a new place. And you just have to figure out how everything works. I've been trying to get my internet to be up to speed. It's, uh, it's a little bit slow right now and it, it cuts out sometimes. Which is pretty frustrating. So hopefully I can get that worked out. Anyway, we'll see. Well, I actually had originally planned to do a different video this week. Um, I have a video I'm pretty excited about, but it requires some uh, supplies that I don't have. 
so I ordered them and thought they would be here by today, but, uh, but they're not, so. I should be getting them in the mail soon, and then, uh, and then I will be able to make this video, which, which I'm kind of excited about. It's, it's going to be very different than other videos that I've done. Um, although the video of the candle last week is a little bit closer to what I'm thinking. I'm trying to do something a little more abstract uh, and than just me sitting and talking to the camera. Not that I will ever stop videos where I'm sitting and talking to the camera because uh, I do like I do like these kind of videos these whisper rambles so I'll definitely continue to try This video is so moody. <laughs> the lighting is so intense. I can't tell if it's getting darker or not. Oh well. I hope it's not, uh, not too dark for you. Almost finished with my mug of tea. Only got a little bit left. It's an echinacea tea, which is uh, supposed to help with the sore throat. And this one has, I think, like an elderberry flower uh, in it as well. It does have kind of a kind of a strong taste, um, but I don't mind it. I actually kind of like it, but I like a lot of different teas and herbal teas and everything, so. Depends on your taste. I also, I really like uh, licorice teas, teas with licorice or, or anise. Um, and I know a lot of people uh, don't seem to like that taste, but I, I really do like it, so. But I like licorice candies and all of that too, so. It just depends, depends the kind of thing that you like. Just like anything in life, right? Alright, one last sip. Um... I, I have a list of videos to work on, um, but I, I kind of feel like I want to reach out again and just ask you guys, um, what are the types of videos that you like to see from me? Um, and if you have any specific kind of requests or, or ideas, um, I can't promise I'll do all of them, but I always really do like to hear back from you guys about that, so, um, so just let me know what you think, and, uh, you know, if you like these more casual videos, I mean, all of my videos are pretty casual, I think, but, um, you know, sometimes I will do, like, a role play or something that's a little more prepared, so, let me know what you think, um, I really hope you're all doing well. Again, I say that every video, um, but I mean it. I really, I really do think about that. Think about all of you people, and especially the ones who I get to talk to in the comments. It's always fun to talk to you in the comments. I see the same faces, and 
I recognize a lot of you, and it's, it's fun to hear from you. It's like hearing from an old friend. Especially sometimes people will kind of disappear, disappear for a few videos, and then they come back, and they'll say hi again. And that's the best. Yeah, I love hearing from all of you. So, say hi. Leave a comment. If you want. It's up to you. And yeah, I'd love, I'd love some more feedback. I really would love to hear, you know, what you like about this channel and what you don't. I, uh, you know, pretty soon here, well, I'll be coming up on a one-year anniversary of this channel, um, which is crazy. It feels like it's been, it feels like it was just yesterday that I started but it also kind of feels like I've been doing this forever. It's a little weird. Uh, so let me know what you think. And uh, if you have any ideas or, or thoughts or just want to say hi, then please do. And that's all I've got for today. So I'll... See you very soon with a new video. Hopefully this video that I want to make turns out. Um, but I'll make something regardless. So, see you very soon. Uh, sweet dreams.